here with Fuku Tanjiro. And we are doing a let's play of Red, Red Rock, Rock Battle, Battle Offline. Offline with extra scenarios. Volume yes. 3. Now, this is a very, very unknown game to some. Well, not so much unknown, just sort of difficult to find. But in the end, people don't know as much about this game as they probably should. Exactly. It's a fantastic game. Oh, yeah. Beautiful music. Wonderful the way the character's created. And here we go. I will be using the character Bang. He's a merchant. Mm -hmm. My character is Gan, an archer. I'll alter the volume a little bit. Alrighty. Okay. Again, Ban, the merchant. And Gan, the archer, in case you didn't catch that the first time. We are ready and raring to go. As you can see, our stat pad is there. There it involves strength, agility, vitality, intelligence, dexterity, and luck. All of those have relevance to this game. Uh, oh, being an archer, uh, as you can see, I perfectly don't care about strength. Agility for firing speed, vitality to stay alive, a little bit of intelligence for some SP, and dexterity up the wazoo for my arrow damage. As for me, as a uh, merchant, I rely heavily on either strength and dexterity, plus all my crazy abilities. Mammonite especially, because the higher my strength is, the more damage I do. But also, uh, just because it's Mammonite, it's just powerful overall. Starting off, it will deal 1,000 damage to any single enemy, plus your strength score. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As for her Gantz skills here, uh, arrow, <coughs> arrow crafting is makes it so I can make my arrows. Got to shoot. Got to have something to shoot at little monsters. Owl's Eye ups my dexterity by one for every skill level. Ultra's Eye does the same, but it applies to agility. And Double Strafe is pretty much just a rock you in the face with arrows attached. But I don't have that yet because I'm investing in damage and speed over specialness. Yep. In the end, we're going to be doing a lot of our leveling up off screen. But, whenever we get to a new area that we can actually beat, we will play it for you guys, so that tonight you guys can see just how great this game is. Yeah, because sometimes the grind in this game is a little ridiculous. Yeah, once we start hitting level 10, it's going to start getting a little ridiculous. And so, and away we go! We have to play, have to play the first level like five times over just to make it to level 2. Yep. So, here we go, we're going to go ahead and deploy ourselves. And they forgot to translate the rest of that. I'm pretty sure it's. Oh well. I'm pretty sure it's have fun in the field. Don't get yourself killed. Yeah. As you can see, there are some extra stages. And that one right there is the most evil one of them all. Extra stage six. Yep. But we're going to be playing here in the practice stage, where the level is so easy, a brain dead monkey could do it. Yep. It'll show you the record time that you have, as well as just basically name what the stage's name is if you can read it. And the stage selection is accompanied by this awesome Scottish bagpipe. Oh, here we go. Onward. Now, there's a reason why I'm called Ban. As you, as you might have noticed, I have a freaking large hammer. There it is. And then Gant here. I have a bow and arrow, and I make arrows. Yep. Pardon me as I make a few. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sit down for a little bit. Hmm. As you can see up in the top right corner of the screen, and there's actually a counter for your her coins that you're carrying. Which is used for merchants. Yep. Arrows for archers. And your draws your leaves for how many times you die. And, just as a, a forenote, those lives are actually shared by one to three players. So, yep. it's in everyone's interest if you try your best not to die. Yep. Now, you also saw that there was something called damage average that appeared as well. My archer being retarded here, not being able to hit the broadside of the barn. <laughs> that damage average, it builds up over time, and upon doing that, it will actually deal more damage with your consecutive hits. So you can mash weak attack and virtually get rather strong. And then finish it off with a couple of strong attacks. Yeah. Like, for example, a weak attack for an archer is, you know, just punching and shaking little creatures with my bow tip. Really nice 
not using my arrows at all. For the merchant, I go and I, for I, I frontal palm somebody, or I go and I kick him with my foot. The archer's strong attack, if you're not moving in any sort of forward direction, he beats foes upside the head with his bow. But to actually use his arrows, you have to be holding a direction, and then you press strong attack, and you shoot things in the face. Now here's an interesting little attack that oh, the course. merchant has. Yeah, he gets to mug people. Yep, yep, basically a mug. Kidney shank! Ow, 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 what the fuck was that? Oh yeah, willows. Oh, and any party member can actually pick up uh, Ooh, uh, the stuff that's on the ground. Yep. Now, if only the merchant could craft arrows, that would really help out. Awesome. Now, you saw there, that, that big, weird power box right there. That's a crit. It hurts. And enemies can do it to you. I think the curse is in the middle of the screen. Onward. Now, you see this game plays like a traditional side scroll beat em up. Uh, That's probably because it is a traditional side scroll beat em up. With the f without the fact that you can actually have uh, friendly fire. Okay, that is wonderful. Because in most of these games, there's friendly fire. Okay. Friendly fire would be ridiculous, especially with how powerful a merchant is. I would be dead in like one hit. Yep. A little bit of slowdown here, but then uh, to be expected. Archers are the second most fragile class in the world of RL. Second only to the squishiest of wizards. Yep. And acolytes, don't forget them. Well, mm -hmm. Okay, so less, fra uh, less fragile than acolytes and wizards, so third then. Now, that right there is called an Elder Willow. They're normally big not guy. that big. Yeah, normally. Then again, this is Ragnarok Battle, offline. Oh, and you can notice the enemies are dropping fruit, vegetables, and all other manner of weird crap. The crap that keeps us alive. Yep. Pumpkins and a couple of other things. Actually, Ooh, good. Ooh, wow. Well, that's another cool thing about this game. His Sub records. Sub boss number one. The rocker. He plays a fiddle. And he's a giant grasshopper. That hammer smash. That itself is awesome in its own right. And now you will see the reason why I'm called the Ban Hammer. Oh, you missed. I missed. Yes, Alkir the Mighty Merchant, who can turn music into money. <laughs> yes, musical money. It works. And stop trying to be... Like that, you bug. And I'm out of arrows. Hammer! 3,000 damage! See, merchants are mean, even at second level. Yeah. Yes, and now you people see why I'm called the Band Hammer. That's the thing about how archers. Without arrows, those they can only hit. And their strength is crap. This is why it's recommended that, as soon as possible, try to get arrow crafting up to level 10. Because when it's at level 10, you create 13 arrows in every gun. Oh. Which means you only need to do it like three times to get a decent amount. You see this guy riding on the horse? This guy is a douchebag. Now watch. Duck. No damage. Don't duck. And he hits you repeatedly. A for damage. Especially ah. is basically doing what people in MMO pose would call mob whoring. Yeah. Well, it's more like mob tanking. Yep. In the end, it's still a dick move. Move for uh, no, duck, players. duck. Ah. Oh, my food. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, another very interesting thing about the merchants that people would like to know, oh probably, is merchants can consume potions by doing hang a Hadouken with the fourth button key. Well, I'll report you what you killed and then get out of here. No matter what you do, you can't kill that, that guy. You get to watch him die later in the game, though. Pretty fun. Go cry to a cat for you, Pansy. Oh, yay, mushrooms. Ah. Spores, actually. Yep. Still. Chon-chon. Chon-chon, little fly thing that I just banned. The chon-chon are the weird things. And crap. Here is a book of knowledge due to Ragnarok Online. Oh, yes. My knowledge knows almost no bounds, especially when it comes to my Kidney life. shake! And apparently I'm stuck. <laughs> yep, there that's what those snakes do. If they hit you, they have oh, a chance of causing I was that. Paralyzed. <laughs> they have a chance of causing that little status effect called Paralyzed. That's what that was. I've never seen that happen in this game before. Probably because I've 
never actually gotten bitten by one of those things before. Pumpkin for you. If I remember yeah. correctly, those were called uh, Cobras. I believe so. Whee! Well, I haven't played Ragnarok in a while, so my memory is a bit fuzzy. And now we have another mid boss coming up. This, however, is called. Uh, eh, it starts with a G, but it's a big snail. Yep. And, and do I'm not hit it when it's in its shell, or it will kill you. Oh god. Hawa! <laughs> I'm so glad Friendly Fire does not exist. I would not like to meet my end at the deal. <laughs> giant golden hammer of doom. Yeah, giant hammer made of money. Oh, this is a wonderful little enemy to fight. This is a pupa. This is the easiest sub-boss in the entire game, but do not be fooled. Watch what happens when we beat the crap out of it. Yep. I'm gonna after collect myself a couple of coins. Yeah, after and pour some coins from it. <laughs> Apparently kidneys produce money in this game. I don't even know if a pupa has kidneys. Doesn't matter. It's still rather funny in the end. And, and, just, damn it. Yes, yes. Just so I can have, have at least 20 to use and three left over for a potion. Shit, while you're doing that, do some much needed recovery. And, a couple more of these. These. Yeah, a little boring, but in the end, uh, we're not gonna and be Oh god! That's why I said do not underestimate the pupa. It and turns into the fearsome tree me. Yep. Don't let but the name fool you. This beastie is fierce. Whee! In this money game. into poison. The poison into money. Yep, there's there's like nothing the merchant can't turn into money. And I'm hammering this thing to death. And I'm in. Ah, I don't care if I'm getting hit by poison. Yay, money. Yes, if, if archers have enough arrows, wow. and they can time it properly in the air, they can fly. Sugar potion! Uh, this is for... Let's just keep moving, I'll craft all the way. Yep. Oh. And here we go. Here we have the Look. boss of level one. Bunnies! Seems like a bunch of innocent little rabbits. <laughs> bunny, 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 bunny. See, the bunny, thing bunny, is, bunny. these are what's... These are known as the slave spawn of a oh much larger God. creature. This is called an eclipse. It's an MVP monster, which usually means you need a pretty sizable group to defeat it. Giant bunny! Especially if you're a relatively low low level like these characters are. Yeah, normally? In fact, characters like this wouldn't be able to beat it. Yeah, as a matter of fact, at level 1, you're supposed to be a novice. You're not supposed to get your first job level until and level, I'm level 10. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Hammer time! Which means that normally, no matter... How big the group, a mass of level 1s could not defeat even one of the weakest MVPs, which is the Eclipse. And, you know, you'd think it'd be a little easier to knock off a giant blue rabbit, but... And I'm kidney shanking a bunch of rabbits, apparently. Ah, great. Kidney was one of those damn things. Oh, it's gonna charge. That thing's charge attack really hurts. hurts. It'll kill you if you're level 1, so there you go. Just forewarning. Ah, oh, there god damn it. Okay, so maybe not. A merchant's a little more hardier here than he appears, so... There you go. Ooh, chilly up. And I'm about to die. Bam! Arrow to face. Hey, it looks like we both actually got a hit in on that one. Either way, that was hilarious. And there we go, we got the area clear time. And our final most Hey, forward. stage clear, top record. Yep, I and we're both getting level up. Alright. That concludes the first level. Yep. And apparently I'm inside. <laughs> inside. <laughs> so, should we get a little ballsy and try to tackle level 2 at level 3? Mm, maybe, but that'll have to wait until the next video. Yep. Alrighty, people. Stay calm and carry on. We'll be back again soon, so enjoy the first few videos of RBO.